everybody, Jaws Jr. here. And we are here again for the second time at the Bureau of Land Management Sunstone Collection Area. So we're here at the main parking lot right now. And uh, we're going to take you guys along and again show you what we found. We were here again last time about a year ago. And this time we're going to go pick on a different spot. We got the, I don't know if you can see him, we got the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and our friend Jim. He came with us again for this trip. And they're out there just kind of looking around the close area in. But here pretty soon we're going to jump in and we're going to go pick another spot that we can go pick, pick on. Um, possibly do some digging, uh, surface finds, just to see what we can find out here. And uh, go from there. Now there's a word of warning. We came in from Lakeview, but we decided we wanted to come in a different way. So we went up 395 and then we further, and we came in, I believe it was down Hogback Road. Do not follow your phones because they will lead you astray. They'll try to send you off on roads that don't exist. Last night I sat down and I studied the maps to find out what was going the right way to get here. And I'm glad I did because this was wrong. So do not follow your telephones, GPS, if you um, decide to come here. Study a map and actually bring a paper map with you and find the written instructions on how to get out here. It'll definitely be helpful. So everybody hang tight. Uh, we're going to go find a good spot to go uh, pick some uh, sunstones and I'll show you the progress that we make throughout the day. Hey everybody, I am back. I found a little spot that's got quite a few of them in there. And I've already found some, probably a small handful of them. Let's see if I can get the bigger one out of my pocket here. Well, there's a, a sample and there's a bigger one right there. So, I'm going to come show you here something. That made sense. Come show you here something. English is not my strong point, I guess, although I speak it, all, speak it all the time. But mind you, it is 37 degrees, and it was about a month ago that people were out here complaining it was over 100 degrees, and they were just suffering. So, uh, let me show you what I found. I'm going to sit down and get lazy about this. So there's that one. There's those, there's these, there's a couple other ones. There's really nothing of a big size. This is probably the bigger one that's out there. So, all through here, you can see them. So I'm gonna sit here for a while, pick through the bigger ones just to see what I can find. And I might do a little bit of sifting, but I haven't found the sifting, I haven't found that the sifting technique works very well. Just picking what's on the surface. I know there was somebody out here last month when it was really hot and they were complaining that they were out here digging and digging and digging and hardly found anything. And in five hours last year, the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and I found that 20 ounce drink bottle completely full. Now granted they were smaller, there's some decent sized ones in there. But I think I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna let you guys go. And I'll check back soon. Okay everybody, here's an area I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in. Got some bigger ones here. Some more there. And a little pan over here. So there's a few bigger ones in this area. I mean, they're not big by comparison. I mean, what's picked up in the uh, private mines that's over there. They get a lot better quality than what's around here. But on occasion, you'll find something. But I found a pretty good spot here with quite a few uh, bigger ones. So I'm going to 
scope the entire area out, start at one end of it, and work my way over to the other. Well, we are taking a break, and that cup is about two-thirds of the way full. It's a 16-ounce cup. That's mine. And then there's a Mrs. Jaws Jr., about two-thirds of the way full. So we're right out where we were at last time, I believe. Maybe maybe not quite as much. And we've, We're going to be out here for a couple of more hours, and we're going to go wander around and see what we can find. So... We'll be back with you. Hey everybody, I am out wandering around some more. Wanted to talk to you about how to do this out here with these sunstones. Basically there's three main ways of doing it out on your own. Is The first is to do what I'm doing and then that's just wandering around. And stopping and picking up a few of these as you find them. That's one good way of doing it. The downside is with this is that you're only going to get what's on the surface, and you're not sh and you're not too sure what's going to be below it. So you're taking a chance. Uh, you're going to miss a lot. So there's more. Another one is taking that colander there and filling it with dirt and shaking it out and then picking out the uh, picking out the sunstones out of that. And some people do shallow holes, which is very common. I've seen all kinds of shallow holes around here where people just dug a little bit out and shook it and moved on. And another way is for somebody to dig out a fairly large hole, maybe three, four, five feet down. And there you're going to have a good chance of finding larger ones, higher quality, but the quantity won't be there because you're not covering as much area as like say what I am right now. So there's several different ways of doing this. And you've got to figure out when you come out here, what, what do you want to do? So what I'm going to do is put you guys up for a second and then I'm going to show you how many that we've got today just by wandering around. Okay, there's the result, everybody. Two 16-ounce cups, completely full. Better than what we did last year. Okay, it's a day. Not too bad at all. And here's the other one. So... Yeah, this is a fun place to come. I mean, it's cold. I think it's finally warmed up to 42 or 43 degrees, so it's cold. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, pack it up, head it back to the Jaws Jr. Entertainment Mobile Command Center, and get ready for the next one. So, for now, everybody, just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, with a bunch of sunstones. This is Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one. See ya!